Hi friends! Have you ever wanted a photography mentor? Someone to answer all of your questions, follow around, watch them shoot and work, and even see how they run their business on the back end? If this is you, you are not alone because this is actually one of the most asked questions that I get both inside my Facebook group called Photoboss and over in on like Instagram DMs and even in my inbox. I get emailed about this a lot. And I think that this is an important topic. So I'm gonna be giving you my tips for both finding a good mentor, how to reach out and ask for a mentorship, and some alternatives for those of you who live in maybe remote areas or who are having a hard time finding people to say yes to you being their mentee. I really do believe in mentorship. I was so fortunate to have a couple of photography mentors when I was starting out, and it really did impact the way that I built my business and the decisions that I made and gave me opportunities. So I strongly, strongly believe in mentorship. But I sometimes think that mentorship takes on a different form than you might think. And so I wanna talk about the different options that you have, how to reach out to a photographer to become your mentor, and some options that you have for if no one says yes to you. So let's dive in. So I shared at the beginning of this video that I had some photography mentors in my own life that really helped me grow my business. And I wanna share with you how those mentorships came to be. So here's how I found a mentor or two mentors. I had the most luck finding someone to agree to a mentor relationship when I looked for photographers that were already seeking help or when I reached out to people that I knew in real life. And so often I see photographers searching for mentors kind of in a cold way, like a cold call way, where you might find someone online who's much more established than you and you reach out and ask them to be your mentor. And while the concept of this does make sense, I totally understand and I definitely did this in the first year of my business. It didn't work by the way it's not necessarily going to yield the best results for you. And so I want you to think about mentorship in a little bit of a different way and think, who do you know who does what you wanna do? Is it somebody, maybe a friend of a friend even, where you could get an introduction from high school, from college, from you know someone who used to photograph you and your family? Who was your senior photographer? Who was your wedding photographer? Have you ever been photographed professionally? Because that could be an in to actually talk to somebody and say, hey, I hired you, I knew you in real life. Do you think we could chat? I would start with a little bit of a smaller request, like, can I ask you some questions? Do you have 15 minutes to jump on the phone? Or can I treat you to lunch? Rather than say, will you be my mentor? Because I think it takes a little bit of baby steps and sometimes a photographer who's busy and successful doesn't have the bandwidth to take on a mentee when they're probably not even really sure what exactly that entails, right? You also have to imagine how many requests a busy or successful photographer might get for somebody wanting mentorship. And they might have you know, a small amount of slots available for that kind of thing, or um, it's a case by case scenario. But you have to remember that this is asking a lot from the main photographer. And so you want to lead with your value offer of what value you can give to them. You know, if you're willing to work, um, carry their bags or observe or work for free or ask in some way how you could provide help for them, you may be more likely to get a positive response when reaching out to that photographer. So here is what I did instead. Instead of Googling and finding some big name photographers in my area and then cold emailing them, which could work and you may have tried this. Um, it didn't work for me, but I decided let's go about this in a different way. Let's join smaller Facebook groups. Let's join local chapters of the Rising Tide Society, which I'm betting there's a Rising Tide Society chapter in your area as well. Definitely worth joining and exploring and seeing what contacts you can come up with. And ultimately, I found people that needed help. So when I found photographers asking for an assistant or a second shooter, I reached out to them instead of 
cold emailing or cold calling more established photographers. And that yielded way, way better results. So then, and this is probably my biggest mentor in my business, I reached out to my own personal wedding photographer who had photographed my husband and I's wedding. And I asked her if I could take her out and ask her some questions. That is all. I didn't ask if she could be my mentor. I didn't ask if I could come to her house every Tuesday and Thursday, which ended up happening later. I just said, I have some questions about your career and I would love it if you could answer them. But I didn't think she was gonna have time. I really didn't think she was gonna make space for it. And to my surprise, she did. And because I started with a smaller ask, I think it was easier for her to say, yeah, I can spare an hour, you know, let's meet up. And I knew her in real life. Um, I wouldn't have led with, hey, can you teach me how to submit weddings and Lightroom and figure, show me your, your calendar system, your booking system and how you create albums, which she later did. I wouldn't start with that. I just started small. So start with someone you know or somebody who's already asking for help and offer your value and just start with a smaller ask. The second way that I found mentors is I actually paid for mentorship. And this might be on your radar, it might not be. Sometimes I think um, we are looking for someone who can be our guide, be our big sister or big brother, and hopefully guide us through the business. And we forget about the opportunity for coaching and mentorship in a paid capacity. And in my first couple of biz years in business, I decided, you know what, it would be worth it for me to pay somebody to answer all of the questions I had about business, but more importantly, get some fresh eyes on my business and evaluate what's going on. Give me some marketing advice, help me to piece together my brand and maybe fill in some gaps that I'm not seeing, right? Like we are looking so closely at our businesses sometimes, I don't think we see what's working and what's not. And so I did that early on and I realized it was a game changer. It really, really helped to be a catalyst for me to grow much more quickly. And so now I value education and coaching as someone like I will pay someone to coach me every year in my business. It's something that I really value. And so I put it in my budget. I have it in my business and I'm going to attend workshops, buy the books, pay for the coaching because I really believe in it. So. This is something that I offer one-on-one -on -one to my students. My most popular program right now is a 60-day business accelerator. I do this all online, and it's something that you might not have thought when thinking, okay, I need to find a photography mentor that someone could be your mentor online and it could be paid. So just something to think about, and I think that there are a lot of benefits to paying someone. Um, the biggest one is that they're an educator, so not all photographers are great at explaining what they do as, as photographers and as a business owner. The other reason you might wanna pay for a coaching relationship or mentorship is that it becomes a actual thought out program where each step builds upon the previous one and you leave with real results, answers, and progress in your business. You know what steps you're taking, you've had audits done of your website and your pricing. Um, whereas if you do a free mentorship with someone that you really admire, the results are a little more ambiguous. You don't know exactly what you're going to get. And so that is one reason why I'm a huge proponent of paying for mentorship because when you find the right person who is doing what you wanna be doing and you vibe with them and you vibe with the way that they describe things and the way that they educate, you're probably going to get more out of it if you have skin in the game and you've paid money than if you just found somebody that you're gonna ask questions online. I think both have their place, but Sometimes paid education and paid mentorship gets like the bad rap in photography and I think it has so much value. So I had to put that in there. So I strongly believe that the more you know, the more you grow. So I am always down for paying for education. So that leads us to our next section. I have some free alternatives. Now, while you are going through your past relationships, thinking about who you might know that's a photographer, trying to maybe get an introduction, because I'm sure you know someone who knows a photographer, and while you're building those relationships, joining Facebook groups, and looking for people who are already asking for help, I wanna give you some alternatives that you can actually do right now that are free. The first is join my Facebook group called Photo Boss. This is a community of photographers that believe that sharing and growing together is the true secret to success in business. And so they're not gonna be withholding. They're not gonna hide how they're selling their albums or what their prices are or how they're finding their clients. In fact, 
people in here are going to surprisingly answer you directly and tell you what's working for them and what's not. And so there are over 6,000 of us inside of this Facebook group. Every single day, people are in here answering questions. And so if you feel like you have a lot of beginner questions, intermediate questions, advanced questions, whatever the questions may be, I would challenge you to ask them inside of Photoboss because you can probably get a pretty decent answer. And the photographers inside of this group, if they don't have the answer, they know someone who does. And they often link really valuable videos that I've never seen before that are incredible. So if you haven't already, consider joining Photoboss. It's a free Facebook group. I'll link it down below. And you never know, you might find your business bestie or a couple of photographers in this group that could serve as almost online mentors to you to answer questions and help you grow. I will link all the information down below that we've mentioned here today, including my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching program, if you're interested in getting information on that, and the Photoboss Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.